So I hope you're starting to feel fairly confident that you understand lists, you understand the operations we can do on lists, and you understand how to use for and while to loop through elements of a list. For this quiz, we're going to try something a fair bit tougher than what you've seen so far. Your goal is to define a procedure named find element that takes two inputs. The first input is a list, it can be a list of any type of element. And the second input is a value, which can be of any type. And it outputs the index of the first element in the input list that matches the value that's passed in as the second input. So one of the things you should think about when you define a procedure is whether there are any special cases that it's not clear what you should do. In this case, the question as I've stated it so far doesn't explain what to do if the input list doesn't contain any element that matches the value that's passed in as the second input. We'll change it to make that more clear. And we'll make it behave like the find method that we saw in strings. So if the element doesn't exist, we'll return negative 1. So here's a few examples. So if we call find element, passing in as the list, the list 1, 2, 3, and passing in as the value to match, the number 3, we find the match here, which is position 2. So the output should be 2. If we pass in as the list, the list containing the strings alpha and beta, and we pass in as the element to find the string gamma, there's no such element in the list, so the output should be negative 1. So there are many different ways you could define find element using the things that we've seen so far. See if you can find a way to define it that has this behavior.